All right, my friends, in this video, we're gonna be comparing the difference between the Seagate Ironwolf Pro 14 terabyte drive and Seagate Ironwolf 14 terabyte drive. Now, there's a big shortage in Australia at the moment. What? Officially, you need to wait until March to get one of these drives. What? But I managed to get this guy off eBay and this guy from a brick and mortar store, which I probably won't be recommending because it didn't look that impressive. But first thing to do when you get one of these drives, is check the manufacturing date. So over here, it says the 15th of November, 2018. And this one comes with five years warranty. Now, because it was manufactured very recently, it's actually slightly more than five years. Whereas the one that I bought from an actual physical store, it was manufactured in on the 10th of August, 2018. So it's slightly older. Top tip for you guys, when you get one of these drives, check the serial number with the warranty checker online to make sure that your drive is a real one and eligible for warranty. All right, so the first thing I do when I get a new drive is go to the sport warranty page and I type in the serial number to check the warranty status. Over here, it looks like I've got a drive that's warranted for over five years, so that's good. You can also check out the product support page for the manual and things like that. And uh, there's so much to read, so you can have some fun with that. Weight wise, to be honest, the Iron Wolf actually feels lighter than the Iron Wolf Pro. This one feels slightly more heavy. What you do get with an Iron Wolf Pro drive, however, is a five year warranty, two years recovery, which is worth around $20. It's not that expensive, but apparently the components here are slightly better than the components in this one. But let's find out for sure how well they work, the noise levels and the speed. So I've got a Mighty. This is the QNAP 472. It's a Thunderbolt free NAS and I'm going to be slotting these drives inside and comparing each drive individually to let you know the speed and the noise levels. To test the performance, here is Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test and I've got it set up to transfer 5 gigabytes of data. However, you can only really monitor the write speeds in this application because the read speeds are a bit off the chart. Check it out. You're getting 900 megabytes a second, so it's it's reading that file that it's copying over straight from the cache. So we're not getting realistic read speeds. So for this uh, test, I'll be using Agile. So by default, it also has crazy fast speeds. So writing, we're getting over 250, and reading is again off the chart. But I found that if I change the test file size to four gigabytes, it seems to give realistic results. So first up, I'll be testing the Iron Wolf. Three, two, one, go. We were getting write speeds of 251 and read speeds of 231. Let's do another test. And read speeds have gone up slightly to 235. Now let's switch over to the Iron Wolf Pro. 3, 2, 1, go. That's write speeds of 236 and read speeds. Yes, write speeds of 236 and read speeds of 223. Let's switch back over to the Iron Wolf and test that one more time. Again, write speeds of 250, Iron Wolf Pro. So it seems that consistently the Iron Wolf Pro runs ever so slightly slower than the Iron Wolf. Looking at the performance graphs, let's first start with the disk writes. And you can see that the Iron Wolf had this sort of flow going in. But let's just look at this bar. You can see that it did write for slightly higher and longer than the Iron Wolf Pro. If we look at this one, you can see that it boosted up to here, dropped down, then boosted back up. Whereas this one, the Iron Wolf Pro, boosted really fast to 713. Not as high as 727, but went up to 713. And then went down straight away, calmly. Whereas the Iron Wolf would boost back up slightly faster afterwards. And further down, it would boost back up. Whereas the Iron Wolf Pro was kind of like, it'd go fast. It was more wavy, it was, it'd go really fast, and it'll slow down, and then it would stay stable, then it would go fast, slow down, stay stable, or these ones, there was more peaks. So it'd peak up to here, then peak up to there, peak up. So that's why I guess the Iron Wolf had better write performance. Looking at the dips, you can see that there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So the Iron Wolf Pro had slightly more dips than the Iron Wolf. So that would also contribute to the slightly slower speeds. Now looking at the read speeds, you can see that um, well, on these, these charts, the Iron Wolf Pro had a, a crazy fast read for one moment. It went to 5, 2, 1. Maybe it was accessing the cache at that point. 
and let's look at the dips. So we got sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten dips. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this one's okay, maybe they're both at ten, really, because um this one's a very, very subtle dip. And you can see maybe in this area something's happening. But generally the flow seems to be very similar on the Iron Wolf Pro and the, the Iron Wolf. The only slight difference is that massive jump that the Iron Wolf Pro went to accessing the, the read. However, if you look at the, the general line, it's hovering around slightly below 260 to 260. Let's just say it's gone the 260 mark. Whereas if you look at the Iron Wolf, it goes between 230 and it shoots all the way up to 303. So it has a slightly, I guess it's mid-range, is 275. And that's why again, so it's going like 15 megabytes a second faster than the Iron Wolf Pro. Now let's uh, hear how they sounded during the tests. Three, two, one, go. So what I've done here is boosted the audio of the Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro drives. I've put the Iron Wolf on the left side and the Iron Wolf Pro on the right. And so if you just follow this chart over here, you'll see the difference. So left is Iron Wolf and right is Iron Wolf Pro. So you can see from the bar charts that the Iron Wolf is around 7% noisier than the Iron Wolf Pro. Looking at the drives individually, we can see that the Iron Wolf drive is running at 45 degrees, while the Iron Wolf Pro drive is running at 43 degrees after these tests. Interestingly, when testing the drives directly on the NAS drive itself without transferring from a computer, the read speeds were very similar with the Iron Wolf's drives being slightly faster than the Iron Wolf Pro. However, the IOPS in out operations per second results were dramatically faster on the Iron Wolf Pro drives. So you can see that the Iron Wolf Pro drives here can do 193 in out operations per second, whereas the Iron Wolf drive could only do 163. And you could tell that there was a big difference because the Iron Wolf Pro drives were a lot noisier. All right, so with the Iron Wolf on the left and the Iron Wolf Pro on the right, let's play back the footage. You can see that the Iron Wolf Pro's increased performance at in-out operations leads to around a 21% increase in noise. Overall, I'd say the drives are very, very similar with the performance improvements being linked directly to the noise levels. So when the Iron Wolf drives are sequentially reading and writing faster than the Iron Wolf Pros, they will be around 7% noisier. But when you're accessing loads of files at the same time, the IOPS of the Iron Wolf Pros will be going around 15% faster than the Iron Wolf's at a 20% increase in noise. So it really depends on if you value noise versus performance and the kind of operations you'll be doing on your drive. Personally, I'd always go for the Iron Wolf Pro drives if you can find a good deal. I found some great deals on Ebay's. Actually, my latest Iron Wolf Pro drive, which I've just ordered, actually costs me the same amount of money that I paid for a normal Iron Wolf drive. Other benefits of the Iron Wolf Pro drives outside of the increased IOPS is that they do support bigger NAS drives up to 16 bays, whereas the Iron Wolves only support up to eight bays. And it does have double the amount of guaranteed read and writes. And more importantly for me, it has a five year warranty rather than a three year warranty. I personally have had Iron Wolf drives for over two years and I've had no problems touch wood. So fingers crossed that this one will be working just fine. However, for extra peace of mind, it's always getting the pro version because apparently they do use better components inside. All right, my friends, I hope you found this review useful. Let me know which drive do you have in your NAS? Mm -hmm.